In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a slanted shaft wall. Let's get started. Activate the shaft in the breadcrumb window. If you don't have the additional object stocking window yet, you will find it under the Start tab. Add an additional sub-object and select the default user component for it. This has no geometry. Assign the component group Shaft to the component and click on Finish. You can change the name of the object in the properties. Change the angle under General as you need it. Afterwards, you can set the position and angle calculation to be determined manually by equations under the item Location. For example, I enter 0.5 multiplied with dz, the height for z0, for x0 1000 mm and for y0 2300 mm. Then add a wall opening, select it in the data tree and change the coordinate system under the item hole parameters to parent. Adjust the dimensions here as well as you need them. When you activate the design mode, you can see the object that is causing the wall opening. You can set dimensions by holding down the control key and clicking on the respective points, then releasing the key and selecting aligned dimension under dynamic dimensions. Activate the additional sub-object and add an additional wall segment. You can also select this in the data tree. Then, as the wall opening, set the coordinate system in the settings to parent and adjust the dimensions. The slanted shaft wall can be cut off vertically by adding two additional sub-objects below the wall segment, each with a wall opening. And this is how you can create a slanted shaft wall. Thanks for watching. 